Hi everybody, it's Judy, and I'm here with Daisy and friends, and we're sending a video postcard from my home to yours. Today, our postcard includes three things. Highlights and lowlights, poetry from the Bible, from the book of Psalms, and we'll wonder together about the poems and prayers we can create to talk to God and to share with others. Stu, Clarice, Oliver, and Silly Monster have been playing outside all afternoon, and they have highlights and lowlights to share. Stu's highlight, you guessed it, is reading his books. Today, Stu created three stacks of books. Easy, Just Right, and Challenge. The books in the Easy Stack are favorites from when Stu was a young bear cub. It can be a really nice feeling to go back and read books that we enjoyed when we were younger. The Easy Stack are books that Stu can read independently. And the Challenge Stack has new words and new stories, and it takes Stu a little longer to read those books. He has to sound out the words and maybe even look up the meaning of a word. But it's exciting spending time in those stories, even though it takes a little longer to read. I wonder, what book stacks can you create at home? It doesn't matter what books are in anyone else's stack. What matters is that your books are good choices for you. Clarice's highlight when she wasn't riding her bicycle was working on the longest hot scotch in the world. Silly Monster and Oliver helped for a while, but they got distracted playing with the hose. More on that in just a minute. One way Clarice enjoys expressing her creativity is by inventing games that test her skill and where there are winners and losers. Competition. I wonder, can you create your own hopscotch game? It's something you can play on your own or with others. Now for Silly Monster and Oliver's highlight and lowlight. Silly Monster and Oliver like to play together. They get along well take turns, take breaks, and today they help Clarice work on her hopscotch. And they're curious. Today, they saw the hose and they asked to get a drink of water from it. Hydrate. Taking breaks to rest and drink water is a good way to help our bodies recover from work and play. Well, Oliver and Silly Monster ask if they could drink water this afternoon from the hose. I said yes to drinking from the hose. It's how I drank water outside as a child, and it can be interesting to manage the hose. Crawl through the scratchy scrubs, find the faucet, twist the faucet to turn it on, and give thanks for the cool, clean water that flows from it. Today, Silly Monster turned on the water and held the hose for Oliver, and Oliver drank. That all went pretty well. Then it was Oliver's turn to hold the hose for Silly Monster. While Oliver was holding the hose, he decided he thought it would be funny to splash water in Silly Monster's face. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder how Silly Monster felt about that. That's right. He was angry. I don't like that, Oliver. We're not playing a splashing game right now. Don't do that again. Oliver looked at Silly Monster. And then in a quick second, Silly Monster took the hose back from Oliver and splashed water in his, Oliver's face. Silly Monster, I don't like that. We are not playing a splashing game right now. Don't do that again. Oliver frowned. Silly Monster frowned. After a long moment, Oliver spoke. I shouldn't have splashed water on you, silly monster. I'm sorry. After another long moment, silly monster spoke. I shouldn't have splashed water on you, Oliver. I'm sorry. And then the two friends decided it was time to take a break, to rest and have a snack. Which is what they're doing now. Doing something to hurt a friend is a problem and a low light. Working out problems together, learning to say, I'm sorry, is a highlight. You are created and loved by God. It's a good feeling to know that. It's a good feeling to know you can invent games, solve problems, use your imagination, and help one another. You are able, you are capable, you are creative, you are loved. The words of the Bible remind us of this. The poetry of the Bible the book of Psalms is filled with words that express feelings and can be read or sung as prayer or talk to God. Psalms have lots of images of the natural world, streams, rivers, rocks and mountains, sheep and eagles. And the Psalms express different feelings, happiness, sadness, anger, hope, fear, thankfulness, love. The Psalms are creative, just like you. Jesus prayed and spoke the Psalms as a boy teaching and learning in the temple. Jesus spoke the Psalms as he taught the people and healed the sick. And on the cross, Jesus prayed and taught to God through the Psalms. We can pray and talk to God through the Psalms too. I have a book entitled Psalms. It's by Marie Helene Delval. I'll read one or two Psalms to you. When I listen to you, God, when I do what you ask me to do, I am like a tree planted by a river, a tree full of fruit with leaves that are always green. When I do something wrong, I tell you about it, God. And when you forgive me, I feel calm again. God is like a rock, strong and powerful. God is like a warm, dry place during a storm. God protects me from things that might hurt me. When I ask for God's help, I feel safe. I wonder, can you draw a prayer write a poem to share with God? 
to share with someone you love, or you could speak words out loud or say them to yourself. God hears our prayers. God loves us and is always with us. I'm thankful for you, for this time with you, for Daisy and from our friends here. I pray you have a good day and a peaceful night. God bless you.